Let's look at the examples that we have and see if we can see something happening. So over here, check it out. We've got a maximum. It's like the top of a, a mountain, right? Down here, we've got a minimum. It's like the bottom of a mountain, or sorry, the bottom of a valley. But interestingly enough, if you were to look at the derivative, because why would you look at the derivative? Well, that's what we're studying right now, right? So if you were to look at the derivative, which is the slope of the tangent, what's the slope of the tangent at that maximum? Yeah. And then what's the slope of the tangent at that minimum? Yeah. And then same thing over here, right? Slope of the tangent at that maximum is zero, right? What's the slope of the tangent at that minimum is zero. Oh, but then look, look at this example. What's the slope of the tangent, in other words, the derivative at this minimum? Yeah, it doesn't exist, right? Because, well, as we discussed, a function is not differentiable if it has a corner. Well, that's one of the cases when it's not differentiable. Make sure to make a corner on your graph that you draw on the test in 10 minutes or whatever, right? Do that. Because if you're looking at the slope of the tangent from the left, it looks different than from the right, right? And then here, the uh, derivative also doesn't exist, right? So it looks like possible values of maximums and minimums. In other words, if we were to combine those ideas, possum ex possible extreme values, right? It would be reasonable to package together maximums and minimums into extreme values, right? Possible extreme values occur when the derivative either is equal to zero or does not exist. And so that is our observation. So it seems like uh, extreme values, values occur when uh, the derivative is equal to zero or does not exist. So when derivative is zero or does not exist. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that to a definition and then we're gonna stop. But this definition will be enough to like do some homework type problems. It's just we won't have a chance to do examples. It's just like setting up an equation. So uh, we say C is a critical point of a function f if f prime of c equals zero or f prime of c does not exist. So these are like your potential places where you get extreme values.